He is Leonard Weaver, newest Eagle fullback. Leonard, welcome to Philly, brother. How are you, man? Fellas, I'm doing good. How are you guys doing? We are fantastic. A little under the weather, man, but uh, not bad. Now, all right, last time I had you on, I got you to sing. Not going to do that because you're here now. But, Leonard, i got to give you some, some incredible credit, okay? Okay. We've had athletes come on here before. We had T.J. Hushmanzada on about a month ago. By the way, he's actually with your old team now. But uh, And he told our afternoon guy, oh, yeah, I want to be an Eagle. Want to be an Eagle. Got everybody excited. <laughs> then he went on a Chicago station the same day, said he wanted to be a Bear. You came on with me, what, about a week and a half ago, and you said you want to be an Eagle. And okay. you know what? You weren't kidding, because from what we no. hear, Leonard, you took less money and less years to be an Eagle. Hey, I'm telling you what, man. It's all about, man, I'm telling you, opportunity, man. And what better team to go to who's been winning, who's been hot, man, their core their core is together, man. I'm, I'm very excited, man, and enthusiastic about getting there, man, and getting started. Leonard, what made you want to be an Eagle? Because when we talked, I said to you, this is an offense that we have seen not utilize a fullback properly. They, they, don't, they don't really use a fullback in the short yardage game. Uh, a fullback is more seen than actually, uh, you know, you're strictly a blocker here. Obviously, somebody told you something else about what your role is going to be here. I don't know what you can share with us, but what exactly turns you on to your role that you're going to have with, with this team? Well, the first thing that turned me on, man, was the fact that, you know, this is a winning team, and they're pretty established. And uh, every year they're either in the playoffs or they're in the NFC Championship. And I know they've had some struggles uh, getting over that hump. But, yeah. man, that's something that you look at as a player. Uh, I know they lost their, their their star tackle. But, you know, in this league, you know, players, you know, got to step up, you know, unfortunately, when you lose guys like that. But that was a key key ingredient for me. The second thing was is the fact that this offense was exact, exactly what uh, Coach Holman ran here in Seattle. And so I said, man, what better uh, opportunity would it be to go to an offense where I can present to them, the Eagles, that I'm not only a blocking fullback, but, hey, I can run and I can catch pass out the backfield and call some problem for a defensive coordinator who's looking for matchup deals. And he can say, you know what, man, if we're not careful, we got to account for Leonard Weaver. And if we account for Leonard Weaver, then that, that's going to open up some more lanes for, for some of the younger receivers out there. And it, 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 it creates some things for Brian Westbrook as well because now we got another attack on offense. And anytime you have multiple weapons on offense, it makes it hard for a defensive coordinator to key on one guy now who we've seen running fullbacks in this league guys like mike allstott who put up a lot of yards became a focal point of an offense do you th and i don't know if this this offense here will enable you to do anything like that but do you think you'd have the ability i mean you're you're, you're six foot about 240 250 uh, you know somewhere in that range but a lot of people say you can run like a tailback do you think or have they given you assurances that they are going to, you know, give you handoffs more than what we've become accustomed to seeing with this team? Oh uh, no, no, we haven't uh, we haven't talked about that at all. I think one thing I made clear uh, to Marty was that uh I'm focused on coming in and blocking. That's what they asked me to do. And I told Marty the same thing. I said, hey, if you give me the ball, that's great. If not, okay, I'm not going to get upset. I'm not going to whine because one thing that I know, man, Brian Westbrook is the guy. And if there ever is an opportunity where I have to step up, then guess what? I'm going to be ready and prepared to do that. But for now, man, my job is to open up some holes for Westbrook, man, uh, and, and be able to establish that run game. Eagles fullback Leonard Weaver joining us here in the locker room. Got a good ring to it, right? Eagles fullback Leonard Weaver. <laughs> I love it, man. I sounds great, man. I'm so you don't understand. I I don't know if people understand my enthusiastic about enthusiasm about coming out there, man. I mean, when I was in the city this past weekend, bro, it was nothing but love. The Philly fans all over, man. Whether they recognize me or not, it was just good to be back in a place where everybody's just cool, man, and it's got that great feeling, man. And it was just, it was awesome. Now, Leonard, you're, you're also taking a risk. I mean, you sign, you're, you're 26 years old. You're a young guy. Yep. You're signing a one-year contract in a day and age when, when most football players are looking for that long-term contract with, mm -hmm. with a good signing bonus. Obviously, I think you're aware of this risk. And it, it's, it's kind of like Jerry Maguire where Cuba Gooding Jr. plays on the one-year deal to prove himself to get the money. I mean, did all these things play a role here to say, you know what? I believe in myself. I believe I'm going to have the opportunity here. So, yeah, I'm going to only sign for one year, but I think I can do enough to, to, to parlay that either here or somewhere else into a long-term deal in a year. 
Well, you know, I mean, yeah, you're right. I mean, I, I look at it, man, um, as an opportunity to be able to come out and not only showcase for the Eagles, the team that I'm playing with, and, and hopefully we can establish something in the long run, but I'm also using the opportunity to be able to come into a great offense, play in something that I'm comfortable in, something that I can know right off the bat, and be able to perform without the hesitation of with the learning curve. So, I mean, um, I, I feel like that coming into this situation, of course you have risk. This The league is about risk. You know, right. you come in and you want the big-term deal. I want to establish my family. I want some stability. But, you know, sometimes you just got to grit your teeth and get down to work. And that's exactly what I looked at it. I said, you know what? I got a one-year deal. Okay, that's great. I'm going to come out and continue to get better and prove to people why I should stick around longer and that I'm not just uh, your average fullback, but I present uh, other uh, parts of my game that can cause uh, uh, problems for opposing defense. All right, well, I got two positives for you. Ready? One, it doesn't rain 240 days a year here in Philly. Great. And, and two, you don't have to watch a, a baseball team that's out of it by the end of April. Instead, you got the world champion <laughs> Phillies here, brother. <laughs> My brother, who are you telling? I'm excited, man. I mean, those two things alone, man. See, you got me jumping in my house right now. My wife looking at me like I'm crazy, man. I'm just, it, it's, it's, it's great, man. I mean, the chemistry there between the sports, man. I mean, you, I was telling one of my friends, man, I'm a blue collar guy. Right. Everything that I've done in my life has come from small school. I've had to prove myself over and over again. I've had to work. I've had to get up in the morning before anybody's awake just to prove that I can still be around. And it's still that same attitude that has got me to this point today, and it's going to get me a long-term deal up the road. And so, man, I will never forget that. And when I come there, man, I look around, and I see the people, how hard they work, what the town is about, and I like that feeling. And so your sports, man, are just excelling, and it's because of the attitude there, man. The people are awesome. Now, are you a, now you come from a smaller town in Florida? Are are you a city guy or are you more of a suburb type of guy? Because here in Philly, you got the guys who live in the city, yep. and you got the guys who live, you know, Jersey's right there, great areas to live there. You got the great suburbs here in Philly. I mean, is Leonard Weaver a city guy, or does he kind of like a little land, a little space? <laughs> You know what? I'm a little bit of both, man. Sometimes I can be crazy and nuts, man, you know, coming from the city side, but I also can be laid back and kicked back and want some relaxation. So, you know, I'm a versatile guy, man. That's kind of been my whole lifestyle, man, is just being able to flip when I need to, being able to do what I need to do when I need to do it, and uh, and having that common sense that street smarts to get things done. Well, we love you here in Philly now, Leonard. Now, you know how the fans are here. I'm sure, you know, we talked about the last time. These fans are rabid. Now they're going to be rooting for you. And if they love you, they root hard for you. If they don't like you, well, that's a problem. And we know the fans are going to love you here, Leonard. And, again, uh, welcome to Philadelphia. Congratulations on signing with the Eagles. And uh, we look forward to getting started here, man, and uh, and finally having a fullback, a true back in this, off send, uh, in this offense. Thanks a lot again, Leonard. Hey, gentlemen, thank you, man. I look forward to the future. Sounds good, brother. We'll talk soon, man. Yes, sir. Take care, Leonard. You too. That is Leonard Weaver.